This marquee has been one of the most recognizable locations in Jackson for generations. But on the inside, we're going to show you some of the work being done for the next era of entertainment. This is a photo from opening day at the Michigan Theater. Uh, it was taken April 30th, 1930. From Buddy Rogers and Jerry Ross to the stars of today, the Michigan Theater has hosted live acts and films since opening its doors in 1930. So there are already a, a, a tremendous amount of people that have been in this building and it has a connection to them as a child uh, or even as a teenager. Executive Director Steve Tucker has seen those connections with thousands of people and has memories of his own. I think my memory was uh, we had an international uh, concert here with um, bands from all over the world. We partnered with the Detroit Concert of Colors uh, and then some local performers too. That to me was kind of a, a big deal. That was probably my favorite memory. And now to create those same memories years in the future, Tucker is leading a major restoration. Work is being done from bottom to top, new carpeting, an updated HVAC system, sound improvements, and lighting. The new lighting will allow us to bring in all kinds of national acts and ballet. Stage extension will allow for the uh, symphonies to come in and perform, so we're excited. The scaffolding is currently up for repairs, while phase two of the restoration will begin in January. The total cost of the renovation is estimated at $6.2 million, and the theater is encouraging donations to make it happen. This will be everything that we need to get done until the next, till I'm gone. <laughs> A price of admission that sets the stage for the future. It continues to grow. Now we're able to do that and further strengthen that bond between the young and the old and serve the people of Jackson that, um, that we do. In your neighborhood, I'm Olivia Pajot, Fox 47 News.